I just wanted to apologize for not posting for about two weeks. I want to post at least three times a week, but the last month I was so busy. I spent money that I shouldn't have spent. I spent $750 on 61 pairs of shoes, which actually saved me, but it was just not like a smart decision. Then I had to pay an eBay bill, which was $900 for like my eBay fees. Shout out to Creek Vintage for copying some shoes and some clothes because he really helped me pay my mortgage on like the last minute. All right, so here would have been a good flip, size small Pittsburgh Steelers for $8. It is a little bit steep, honestly, for a thrift store. It is a custom, sadly. I don't know if I could peel this off, but zero one wouldn't be a big deal. Very good condition though, size small. $8, probably into like 25 or 30. It actually might be a little bit more because it is a blank, so someone could put any name they want. We have a single stitch t-shirt, Hanes, for $1. Pretty cool. How do you spell relief? Doc Osborne, South Florida chiropractor, and I really like the back. Look at that, it's so cool. Tush. Honestly, if I could get this stain out, I could probably sell it for like 30 bucks, and someone's like, oh, $30 for that piece of crap? Listen. People like vintage. Oh yeah, I got a pair of shorts for myself. Some black starter shorts. If you find really cool dope vintage t-shirts, especially one that have to do with like stuff that's still around today, boom, buy it. It's from the 80s, it's thin, it's in good condition, sure it has stains, I could get those out with a OxyClean gel stick. Easy money, you're paying 99 cents, even if you got 20, $15, you're still 15 times your money even though you have fees and all that other bullshit, it's really good inventory, pick it up. Another item like it, 99 cents for this Guy Harvey. It is size large, and not only is it a Guy Harvey shirt, usually Guy Harvey shirts go for about 15 bucks, and I'll pay 99 cents to make $15, but this one's a University of Miami, so the Miami Hurricanes, special edition, I don't know what you wanna call it, but this one's gonna be $20. So you're paying 99 cents to get $20 worth of inventory. Maybe someone will offer you $10, and I will take it because I only paid $1 for it. Here's a really nice come up. We have the Rain Spooner, American Classic size large, but then we got the Lionel Trains, like collab. So sick, got the Statue of Liberty right there. This piece will go for like $50 to $60. Then we have a 1997 Torch Run, for the Special Olympics 1997, sponsored by Walt Disney World. That is 99 cents and that is size medium. So cool. And then I picked up a couple t-shirts that I do not approve of, but I do approve of making money. We have FU FSU. I love FSU, but I know some UM fan will buy this because it's like Grateful Dead kind of looking shirt. It's not vintage, but only 99 cents. And then we have a University of Miami, man, I'm getting so much University of Miami stuff today. I wasn't trying to take any gambles today, but this one is definitely a good one. We have the Pearl Snap Vintage Women's Wrangler shirt. It's a Western shirt for $6. And the condition is like mint. And then the all, like also the design and I don't know if you guys, I mean, I, I can feel it. I was like, I don't know if you guys could feel this, but if you guys aren't feeling the vibes of this, definitely like a $30 piece and comps on eBay are just so random some of them are going for 15 some of them are going for 50 so I kind of had to just take that gamble post it for whatever I can like post it for $40 and see what happens maybe someone buys it for full price it's definitely got a cool vibe to it it is women's so I doubt it'll like move crazy quickly but it's also like a really cool design and colorway so I'm definitely gonna take a gamble on it it's goodwill high what the heck they must be stoned out of their minds back there. Five dollars, I think that's like a dollar fifty at the store, brand new at Walmart. I'm gonna look up all these laser toners. And I also got a glove that's four dollars that goes for like 30. Pretty good, it's like in mint condition too. It just has a name on there. I'll try to get that off. Also got a football alumni, NFL alumni football. There goes a toner. This is two dollars, I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna try to get like 30 bucks for it. You're locking up the electric booty. This is episode number 73, I think, of Trip to the Thrift. I'm very bad at remembering what episode we're on. I just know that I love thrifting. This is my job. We're going to Goodwill. I just want to give a huge shout out to that Dallas thrifter for hooking me up with this t-shirt. So sick, single stitch. So I found him a Persona 4 t-shirt and I think I charged him like 10 bucks shipped because he's a homie. Then he tried to charge me $10 for this t-shirt I was like, no, dude, that's not gonna happen. I'm giving you 20 bucks because that's even crazy fair. Right off the rack, it's pretty dope. Hard Rock Cafe, $8 though, not worth it. Look at the spell out on that sleeve, it's so sick. 
All right, next I got a youth size Manchester United, size extra large. This one's definitely like an older one, and you could tell because it has this little Nike tag in here. Looks good, $3 into 20 bucks. And then the Corona jersey, still a maybe. It's pretty dope, but I, I swear it's only gonna go for like 15 bucks, and I don't like spending $5 to make 15. All right, so I got this really cool Roar, size extra large. I don't really like this type of bedazzled look for myself but I know it'll do really well. It'll be like $4.50 and I'll probably get 25, 30 bucks for it. And then I got this Kahala shirt, pretty dope, $6. And then I put back the Corona because I found some good items. And then the Manchester United jersey, pretty good too. It's actually a decent selection of Hawaiian shirts here. Usually it's pretty well picked over, but uh, it's not too bad today. Damn, someone's totally destroyed this jersey. Look, there was a tag supposed to be right there. Tag supposed to be right there. And then they ripped off the champion logo for some reason. It's kind of weird. Probably would have been a good $30 bill too. Collins, that's a bummer. This is so sick, $3, size extra large for the 1994 Shoebox Classics. Probably like a $25 bill. I might keep it, honestly. I love these classic cars. Great condition, probably like never worn either. So crispy. 55, 56, 1957. Pretty dope and it's dated 94 right there. Guys, I literally just pulled a grail. And it wasn't even me that pulled the grail. It was the employee at Goodwill because I come in here all the time. She's like, hey, do you want a Dolphins jersey? She went in the back, look what she pulled out. An authentic starter sewn in Dan Marino jersey in like great condition, size 2XL, pro line starter. How much is this? How much is this? It's in like great condition. I'm gonna flip around the camera so you guys can see. Holy shit talking mushrooms. Look at that. So beautiful. You could tell it's like not washed that much because of this tag right here. Looks like it's in great condition. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. Look, there's one little stain right there. Right there, there's one little stain. Can't really see it too well in the camera. Wow, what a pull. That's like a $100 jersey. I'm pretty sure it's like a $150 jersey, actually. What's going on, guys? Trip to the Thrift episode number 73. We're locking up the electric booty. Got my duffel bag because we are at Salvation Army, and the only reason why I have the duffel bag is because I just dropped off like 30 packages at the post office. So, by the way, it's 12 o'clock. I'm not grand opening because it's half off at Salvation Army, so I might not find anything. But if I do, these people suck at thrifting. So a dude over there like gave me some shirts. I'll show you guys in a second. But this one has so many stains, cold pepper. If I could get them out, it might be worth it for $2. Oh, I just noticed these. Pegasus, pretty dope. But this is really sick right here. The Paul Mares soccer jersey, number 10. And that's only $2 or $1.50. And then we got a Just Do It shirt, $1.50. Got some Polo Ralph Lauren pants, I'm pretty sure. They better not be US Polo Assassin. Okay, good. But yeah, those are my finds so far. Really good stop so far, honestly. Mm, we have a, oh my God, the goat that like turned into the biggest piece of shit ever. Johnny Manziel, there we go, number two. $1.50, what's with all the, yo, their prices are ridiculously fair right now. Let's see if we can find anything else in here. Oh, dope. We have a, looks like a Suarez jersey. I don't even know how to say his name. Probably said it so wrong. That is $1. What the fudge is with all these cheap prices today? It's funny because it's 12 o'clock too. So all the other like main pickers came in and missed all this stuff. Another kid's jersey for $1. All right, that is definitely fake. Look at that skinny ass Puma. <laughs> Holy shit, that is so fake. That is funny. That's so funny. Give you guys a quick little update on what I found. Guy Harvey. Probably a medium or a large. I found so many of these. Oh, that's an extra large. For $1.50, you got this vintage single stitch striped shirt. Okay, it's not single stitch, my bad. I was wrong. That is a double stitch for $2. Pretty sick. Probably get like 30 bucks for that. Nice track jacket, kind of expensive, $6.50. But you're like, oh, it's kind of expensive. Uh, they charge like 20 bucks a month thrift store, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> got another Guy Harvey. This one's dope, it's Florida Gators Guy Harvey. Man, this is definitely gonna be an expensive trip. <laughs> we got a Burberry London shirt made in USA. Doesn't have a price, but I'm gonna guess they're gonna charge me. How much, what size is this? Size medium, $7.99 half off. Another one? Yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah, I found this one. Oh, dope. Yeah, see, there's another one right here that I found. 
And it was literally like on the rack. The, the big old print. I found two uh, Prada shirts yesterday too. All right, man. Nice to meet you. Hey. Lacoste for 250. This crazy Cumberland, I don't even know what you want to call it, tribal print, $2.50. And then you guys just saw that guy bring me a Burberry. I don't know how much it is, but it's size 17 to 43. A little bit farther down that rack, got another one. These things are so crazy, $2.50. Crazy tribal shirts. I'm gonna ask like $30 a pop on these. All right, so this isn't half off, but it's super sick. Single stitch, I think it has one little small stain at the bottom I saw right there. $5, I'm gonna see if they'll take $2.50. Like usually they're very reasonable at this thrift store. I could be like, oh, could you give me half off? Just be polite. If they can't do it, just say, never mind, I'll take my business somewhere else. All right, here's a banger find right here. We have the vintage Ron John Surf Shop made in Mexico, poncho, hoodie. Everyone's asking $200 on eBay. One sold for 75, so $5 into $75. I will take it. I really like the uh, spell out right there. Ron John, so sick. This thing is really heavy. This thing's definitely fitting in, in like a medium flat rate box. I bet a lot of people pass on this because it's just like so weird looking. I just look it up on eBay, easy money. I'm so mad because I got here. That lady over there got a pair of 11s, but got this 2003. World Series Rodriguez jersey for seven dollars and then I have a 25% off for today and then also oh there's another one this one's just a regular Marlins it's made by Majestic it looks like yeah two Marlins jerseys oh there might be other stuff here too this is probably like a hundred dollar jersey for three dollars and fifty cents so I have 25% off coupon plus there's 25% off on Saturday. So this jersey will be $3.50. It looks like it was never worn. All right, guys, I apologize for not showing you guys what I picked up at Salvation Army, but I spent $63. I think it came out to $62.70, and I was like, just round it up, donate the other 20 cents, whatever it is. So I spent $63, which is an incredible deal for everything that I got. I got hats, got two bags, this duffel bag that's really crazy and colorful and like, this like fake leather. This backpack was $12.99, then it was 50% off everything because I had a coupon for 25% off. And on Saturdays, it's already 25% off, so they doubled it up. I'm gonna show you guys everything pretty quickly because I still have to list all this on eBay. We got that Florida tee, got the Switzerland vintage shirt, got the really cool OG, actual, probably from like the early 2000s when Scumpy and Nade Shot were playing. That was $1.50. Lots of this bullshit stuff sells. You guys are probably passing on it because it's a stupid reprint. But honestly, Rugrat stuff, it brings back memories for some people. Paid a dollar, it'll sell for $13. A dollar. Okay, I was gonna buy this for myself, I think. But it's single stitch, says Freedom, USA. I love America, so had to cop that one. Columbia, $1.50 into 12, 15 bucks. We got the FSU champion hoodie. I really love this embroidery. That's why I got it. It has the logo on the sleeve. So $4.50, sell it for 30 and that's easy money. Another $3.50 for the Baseball Hall of Fame. Also, I think I showed you guys this jersey, but I got three other Marlins jersey at this Salvation Army. I ripped off the tags already. I think they're over here somewhere, but you guys saw when I picked up the other ones. They're all $6.99 each and then 20, or then 50% off. So each jersey was $3.50. Wait till I show you guys all of them. Baseball Hall of Fame, super sick, $3.50. I was actually with a friend and she's like, oh yeah, the embroidery looks cool. Usually I wouldn't pick up this crappy gear brand, but just the whole thing was like in good condition, good quality. Then we got the Majestic size large, super sick Marlins. This is awesome. I showed people on Instagram, I got so many offers on it. I gotta take out some of these small stains. But usually you find like the big logos on hats or jackets. I've never seen a t-shirt like this. this is a starter made in USA. This was $1.50. It'll probably, I know it sounds ridiculous, it'll probably turn into $40 to $50. And it's not actually that ridiculous because people waste money on like dumb Supreme tees and stuff. You're gonna get a true vintage, huge logo, Florida Panthers. We have for $1.50, you got the Beefy Hanes single stitch blank shirt. I do very good with blank shirts. I sell probably 
two to three a week. $1.50 for the Harley Davidson. That one is somewhere. <laughs> I don't even know where that's from. I don't know how to say it. I'm not gonna mess it up. $1.50. I get 15 bucks for my Harley stuff unless it's 90s. The Triumph Lucky brand, the $1.50 into $15. $1.50 into $15. This one's $2, it's CCM. And it is Prime U. I'm just gonna say Prime U because I don't want to mess it up too badly. I'm gonna say 30 bucks because it's all stitched in very nicely. Might have a couple stains on there I'll have to get out. Got the Pendleton for $4.50. Super cool colorway. We have the youth size for $1.50, Dwayne Wade. We have the Lacoste for $3.50. It's like 20 bucks, easy money on those though. We got the Peterson's Harley Davidson. I really like the graphics on this one, that's why I grabbed it. And obviously I'm gonna grab Harley Davidson t-shirts when they're only $1.50. Here is one of the best jerseys I got today. 2003 World Series, Ivan Rodriguez, number seven. And this is size large, all stitched in beautifully. I'm probably gonna list it for like 100, but I don't know how much it'll sell for. And then we have another Majestic Marlins. And all of them are ready to go, except for this one has a stain right there that I gotta get out. But they're all $3.50 each. I would pay anywhere from Shit, if this one was $20, I would still pay for it. That thing is awesome. We have a size medium or large majestic Miami Marlins. See, this is the Florida Marlins. Then they upgraded, actually their logo sucks now, but they downgraded to this Miami Marlins. <laughs> and then this one's really sick too. Once I get that stain out, I think I'm gonna get like 50 bucks for this, maybe 40. I really love the patch on the sleeve. And then we have I'm With The Nut. It's got like the vintage late 90s, early 2000s. It's a little bit faded and worn, but I like it. It says I'm With The Nut. You got the red M&M. You guys will definitely see this in a future video. Surge 2 Transit. These were going for not that much. I was surprised. I paid $6.50 and they go for about 30 to 40 bucks. I thought they'd go for way more because it's North Face. Also just have to try to get that scuff out of there. And then we'll be good to go because it's in great condition other than that little scuff. If you guys do not follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is Connor Thrift. It's the same as my YouTube. Make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel, support it. I got this wall put in recently in my new house. As you guys can see, there used to be like little columns right here, but I got it all walled out. Got this whole fixed over here. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. I'll try to post more. I'm just super busy with everything in life right now, so I apologize for not posting that much. Comment down below your favorite pickup of this video. I know mine is definitely that World Series jersey for only $3.50. What a steal. Have a nice day, guys. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye. Erectile dysfunction is bad, but leaving a like on the video isn't. Whether you're hard or soft, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it.